Well, I didn't finish telling you. Well, I didn't finish telling you what happened. So we get to the hotel and it's weird. The lobby was like on the fourth floor. It's a very nice hotel. That's not the point. The point is a big line uh, to check in. There's only one girl at the desk. Fine. You know, we wait now 15, 20 minutes. It, it was quite a wait. Get up there, check in, you know, money's exchange. We're in. The room isn't ready. Oh, it'll be 15, 20 minutes for the room. Okay, so we go to get lunch. We eat something. It was like tacos. I had uh, this uh, pork belly thing. It, it wasn't bad. While we're eating, they send us the little text, say, now the room key is ready. Just come back and pick it up. Because that's what they told us before we went there. We come back. There's a big line again. Okay, we go right up to the desk, say, we're here. We just want to pick up the key. Says, oh, sir, can you please step back in line? That's a check-in line. We already checked in. They say, yeah, we're just here to pick up the key. We did this. They made us get back in the line. So we essentially had to check in twice. I, I've never seen anything like that. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to take a look at the new LAPS policy options we have. Uh, these are in Windows 24 H2. So we're going to look at them. You know, thank God we didn't have to check out. That's automatic. We would have kept going around and check out two, three times. I mean, it was amazing how they run this place. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so we know what LAPS is. We've covered it before. It's the local administrator password uh, settings. That's what we call it. Um, but if we look at what's new in Windows 24H2, specifically for October, uh, there we go. Uh, solution. I don't know why I couldn't remember what the S stood for. Um, there's a new automatic uh, account feature added here. Let's get rid of this. It's bothering me. So basically, uh, what we used to have to do was create the local admin account ourselves and then set laps, set the policy to manage it. But we were responsible for pushing out the account. Now, um, we can automatically uh, configure the account, automatically create the name and, uh, you know, you can even randomize the name. So it's not even the same admin account. And that's super important. You know, one of the biggest security uh, challenges or hurdles or I guess general things folks face is what if someone gets an account and gets in and laps is good for that because you're always rotating the password, but even the account name, right? That's why we don't say use the built in administrator account. You don't want to do that um, by having a random account name change every time. I mean, that's really cool. That means that even if the account name got out, you know, uh, it's going to be, you know, worthless because it changes the next time. So uh, it's very cool. Let's look at some of those policies. So if we head over to the LAP CSP, these kind of detail all the policies and there's a lot here. And some of the stuff is the same, like password complexity, the age and all that stuff. But I want to call out a few important ones. Uh, so the automatic uh, account management enabling the account. This enables the automatic account, right? Um, this makes it enabled or disabled, which is kind of weird. Think of this as this creating the account um, and this. Uh, no, I got that backwards. This allows the target account to be automatically managed and this one enables it. Basically, to make the automatic account, you need both those settings. You know, one creates it and one enables or disables it. So this is where it gets kind of interesting. The okay, automatic account management name or prefix. So this is where you get to name what that automatic account is. Um, but the reason it says prefix, because we can have the option to append a random group of numbers on the back of it. Like uh, if I want my account to be called Rubik's Admin, I can do, uh, you know, Rubik's Admin or I can do Rubik's Admin 5678. Um, and then when you come down here to the randomized name, every time the password rotates, it'll change that suffix, right? So, you know, that's what I was talking about that, you know, you're never going to have that same name because it's going to keep rotating it. You don't have to use that part, but I mean, I think it's a pretty good idea. Um, and then of course, what happens here is this is the policy we're going to use to essentially tell laps where to apply all these settings and you can apply this there's two values here it's a zero or a one so with the zero it's going to be the built-in ad administrator account which i don't recommend using um or it's going to be the the one we're making here which is going to be the, the first integer and you can uh select the rest as far as like you know backup directory um 
you know, obviously you would want to back up to Entra ID. You could do Active Directory if you wanted to, or you don't have to back it up at all. Pass phrase length, all that, all that stuff. Um, but those, those are kind of the new features. There's a lot of upside to having these policies and, and the control over this. So let's go into Intune, and let's set these up, and then let's see what it looks like on our Windows devices. All right, so here I am in Intune, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Windows Configuration. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, the one downside <laughs> to these new policies is they aren't in the GUI yet, meaning there's no drop-down settings, there's no menus. We're going to have to go old school. We're going to actually have to configure the policy manually with the OMA URI schema. I personally think it's fun, but I'm sure not a lot of other folks do, but that's okay. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. All right, so that means we have to create a new policy. Uh, Windows 10 platform, we're going to choose templates and we're going to choose custom. And let's call this new laps policy for 24 each two. As I've said before, I suck at naming things. Please pick a better name than me. Don't look at me for naming. I'm just tired of naming things and I suck at it. So each policy will be a row we have to add. So we're going to use this as our guide right, to kind of go through and set these. So you could copy and paste them. To be honest, it's actually easier to write them out. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. You don't want to accidentally copy a weird character, get some white space in there. So we'll go through each one together. All right, so the first one is we're going to turn on the automatic account management. So we're going to call this auto account management. Uh, you can name them. Actually, yeah, let's write them out so you can follow along better. Auto, automatic account management. And that will be enabled. Now, here's where the policy comes in. Let me make this a little bigger if I can. Backslash device. Uh, actually, it's a forward slash. I already messed up. Device, vendor, Microsoft, laps policies, automatic account management enabled. Now, as far as what you put for the data type, when you look here, um, they tell you how to set it down here. So it's uh, the, you can see the format is a Boolean and the default value is false. And it's basically going to be true or false. Right, so we're gonna turn this on, we're gonna make it true. So this is gonna be a Boolean and it'll be true. And we'll hit save, that's one setting. Now we're gonna add the next one. So the next one uh, is to enable the automatic management account. So we're gonna say automatic account management account. And that'll be enabled. And this one will be device, vendor, Microsoft, laps, policies, automatic account management, enable account. And that will also be a Boolean value. All right, now that those out of their way to create the account and to enable it, we're gonna kind of go on to the name of the account. So this is the one we we're talking about where you come down here and name or prefix. So because we're going to use the random thing, um, for us, it'll be a prefix, but either way, whether you're using the, the random thing or not, this is just where you set the name of the account. So we are going to do automatic account management name or prefix. Uh, we'll just say account name as a description. That will be device, vendor, Microsoft, laps, yep, laps, policies, automatic account, management name or prefix. And then down here, your, the value should be a string because we're just typing it in. Yeah, so you can see the format is a string and you're really just typing in what you want. So I'm going to make mine, I think I'm going to say string. I'm going to do R admin for Rubik's admin um, names, right? Okay, 
So because I do want to use the randomizer, we're going to add that as well. Uh, so we're going to call this the automatic count management randomize name. This is going to be enabled. And the policy is, you see they all have the same schema. They start with device vendor, Microsoft laps, and policies. That's how OMAs are built. We used to have to do this for most policies for the settings catalog. It's like a back in my day situation, you know? Things automatic account management randomize name. Uh, and this, I believe, is also a Boolean because it's just enable or not. Yeah, so it's a Boolean. So this will be true. OK, and the last one I'm going to set is the well, no, actually not the last one. I want the target account to be the one we created. Remember, I said that was this guy automatic management target. We want to set this to one so that laps manages our created account. So we'll say automatic account management target. The description will be, uh, we'll say laps account policy device vendor, Microsoft laps policies, automatic account management target. And that's an integer, right? Let's just double check. Yeah, it's an integer and we want the one value. So we're just going to type one. All right. And the last policy I'm going to set is the backup one. So for the backup policy, uh, let's add backup, backup directory. We want this to be intra ID. I'm surprised it's not called Azure in the docs. Device, vendor, Microsoft, laps, policies backup directory and this should also be an integer um backup directory yeah it's an integer and one is backup the password to enter id which is what i want so let's do integer and one next next uh you pick your group you're going to assign this to right um select your group and then create the policy. All right, with it set, let's see what it looks like on the device and from the management in Intune. All right, so I have a device here, which for some reason didn't take my wallpaper. We'll talk about that later on. Seem to be struggling with that in 24H2. I know a lot of people are, we'll get to that. Um, so let's take a look at the local user manager. Go to users and take a look at this. We see this account here. It's our admin 117363. So what does it say about this? It says this account is currently being managed by your automatically being managed by your corporate administrator. Awesome. So the account showed up. And if we go back to Intune, let's go find this device. Serial is 8140. There it is. So when we come down here to local admin password, show local admin password. It's already there. It pushes a lot faster than the old one, too. So we can see the SID of it. There's our name. And there is our local admin password, right? Now, if we go to rotate it, uh, session, rotate local admin password. OK, so that's been initiated. OK, and it says rotate local admin password completed. So now the actual account should be different. Show administrator password. We can see the rotation was now. Look at that, our admin 119835. So if we come here and we refresh this, yeah, let's refresh. Yeah, look at the account name, 119835. Perfect. That was pretty quick and it changes as you rotate it. I think this is a big win, right, um, for laps because not only do you get the, you know, the normal password settings, you get to automatically create the account so you don't have to worry about making it, pushing it first and that never reported correctly. And, you know, you've seen all my old stuff about that. Also, you get the benefit of not only randomizing the local account name, you can random you can you can rotate the account name with the password. So I think security folks are going to be very happy about this, right? It's one more thing that makes it harder to get access. And, you know, the more secure we are, the better type of thing. 
that's all I got. We'll be seeing you.